Off the top, I want to thank the vast majority of British Columbians who are following provincial health orders, such as masking up, avoiding large gatherings, and doing an extraordinary job in fighting COVID-19 during this recent spike in cases. We've all made great sacrifices to protect our collective health and to keep our healthcare system functioning safely. While I'm disappointed additional measures are necessary, I am taking further action to carry us through the current spike in COVID-19 cases until more of the population can be vaccinated in the coming weeks. As we've heard from Minister Dix and Dr. Henry, COVID-19 variants have started to take hold in our communities. These variants are spread much more easily and each case has a higher chance of infecting more people. And these cases have led to record hospitalizations and a growing strain on our healthcare system. Things may get worse before they get better. And we need to work together to get through the coming weeks. At this point, we have vaccinated more than 30% of our eligible population. And in a month's time, that number is projected to double. But for now, though, we need to hunker down and stay local. If we act now, do the right thing, we can still have a summer that is more like those that we're all used to. While the province and the provincial health officer have long asked British Columbians to stay within their own communities, the time has come to formally restrict non-essential travel. That is why, based on the advice of the provincial health officer, I'm restricting non-essential travel into or out of all health authority regions in British Columbia effective immediately. This order will remain in place until after the May long weekend, specifically May 25th. This is a legal order under the Emergency Program Act and there will be consequences for not following it. But beyond that, these measures most importantly, can save lives, and it's in the best interest of all British Columbians to follow them. For the purposes of this order, the Northern and Interior Health Authorities will be considered a combined region, and the Vancouver Coastal Health and Fraser Health Authorities will be considered a combined region as well. The boundaries of the Vancouver Island region will not change, with, except with some exceptions, for the Central Coast, the Bellacoola Valley, and Hope. Details on this are available in the news release and on the COVID-19 website. For all regions, people will be able to travel within the region or combined region in which they reside, but not out of their region or combined region. This order is to ensure that people stop traversing large parts of the province. For example, going from Kamloops to Whistler or from Vancouver to Tofino. It will not apply to travel within the defined regions. While this order doesn't stop someone from traveling large distances within their own region, from Merritt to Nelson or Abbott to Abbotsford to Squamish, for example, that doesn't mean that these trips should be happening. Our message on travel has not changed. Do the right thing and stay within the areas that you live. We also need the public to be informed before heading out, even locally. There are some places you simply should not go. Whistler's mayor, for example, is explicitly asking people not to visit right now. We need to make common sense decisions on how to protect us all from further, further spread. So go hiking, go camping, but do it locally. The success of these travel restrictions will take the cooperation of all British Columbians. As with previous measures, this is an all-hands-on-deck approach. To help ensure this order is effectively enforced and communicated, the province is working with the Ministry of Transportation and Infrastructure on highway signage and installing new signage on at the border. BC Ferries on restricting non-essential vehicle passage, deterring non-essential bookings and limiting sailings. 
tourism and accommodation industry leaders on strongly encouraging all operators and businesses to support the order by declining new bookings from outside their region and cancelling their out-of-area bookings. BC Parks to inform the public about restrictions and refund bookings where necessary. ICBC to contact their customers who have booked road tests outside their health authority and offer them another booking within their own region if appropriate. And police departments on enforcement measures. Over the coming days, we will continue working with police to establish additional measures to ensure they have the necessary authority to conduct periodic roadside checks like the counterattack program at strategic points into and out of the defined regions. At that time, a contravention of this order may be subject to a $575 fine. The provisions of this order recognize reasonable exemptions to travel restrictions, such as going to work, and going to school, the commercial transportation of goods, returning to a principal residence, obtaining health care. And a full list of exemptions is available in the news release and on the COVID-19 website and in the order itself. Our top priority is to keep British Columbians, particularly our most vulnerable people, healthy and safe. We know this virus needs people to transmit and that people traveling outside their communities increases COVID-19's ability to spread. The surest path to the success of these measures is voluntary compliance. If a friend or family member is planning to break the rules, let them know that now is not the time to travel. Help spread the word. I know British Columbians are strong. Vaccines are rolling out and we will get through this. We just need to hold the line, follow the guidance of the provincial health officer and do the right thing. Thank you.